Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and Angular 10 has been released in the market. So we will talk about the features of the Angular 10 and please keep in mind that this video is not about the features tutorial. We will just talk and discuss about the Angular 10 features, right? So uh, yeah, a tutorial I will provide it in the provide in the some uh, upcoming days, maybe on the Monday or on the upcoming Tuesday, right? So first thing is that uh, the Angular 10 is just released in the four month. Angular 9 was released in the 7th February 2020 and uh, Angular 10 is released on 25th June 2020, right? So it they just take, took the four month to release the new update. Uh, maybe the reason is that Angular 9 is not getting too much popular and there is a lots of bug. Uh, there is an official blog of the Angular. They told that they fix around 700 bugs from angular 9 to angular 10 for this release all right so they just want to make a maybe a big release that's why they just make a 9 to 10 uh, version in just four months all right yeah uh, they update the done in the all areas like framework material ui and the cli also so first of all let's uh, look out the major update of the material ui which is the date picker they provide a new feature uh, the date range picker you can just select here uh, the start date and end date kind of things and uh, here you can see that this is looking nice right so this is the only one major update in the uh, material UI so now let's uh, look out on a uh, stick mode uh, you know that uh, in JavaScript we can also use a stick mode and if you use a stick mode in the JavaScript, we cannot assign the value or we cannot use the variable without declaration, right? Uh, and same case is provided in the Angular also, and there is a lots of benefit of it. Of it. So we will, it will just resolve that uh, ahead of time problem. So maybe sometime you just seen that Angular 10 is uh, Angular is not working properly or ng serve is not working properly. And that time you just use the ng serve minus minus aot, right? And this is working fine. So this is we call uh, that we call the ahead of time. This problem is also resolved by the stick mode. The Angular uh, blog is talking about that, right? Then uh, code will be more maintainable, and we will just get the habitual to make the uh, strict mode, and it will just uh, good for the developer habit also, right? And we can also easily catch the bug, all right? All right? So uh, let's talk about the library updates. So there is a three library updates. TypeScript 3.9 is supported in the Angular 10. For the TypeScript, there is a, they update the TypeScript library, uh, which is provided in the version 2.0 in the Angular 10. And they also update the library for the TypeScript linting. And the current version is 6.0. And uh, now you will find one more uh, config file uh, usually you will see that ts config.json file is available in angular 9 8 and 7 and 6 also right but now you will find one more additional file which is ts config.base.json and this is not about uh, much more configurations and the official blog said that uh, this is uh, used for better IDE support, right? Better IDE support means if you are using the VS Code or Atom or Bracket, then it will provide the more intelligence and uh, more debugging kind of things, right? So uh, these are the major browsers that are supported by the Angular 10. So uh, Internet Explorer 8, 9, and 10 are not supported by the Angular 10, right? Here you can see that, right? So some depreciations and removals are here. ESM5 is removed and uh, uh, the Angular says that uh, it just take the 120 MB to install it when we are just using the npm install. So now we can save the 120 MB of our internet also uh, in the Angular 10. And as I told you, uh, they removed the support for the IE9 and IE10 also and around 700 fix are done for the bugs in Angular 10, right? So, and the last one is that uh, if you are using the any previous version of the Angular, then you can just run this command and you will find that your Angular CLI and Angular is updated in the 10. So, 
if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and please 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 like this video